हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन अनदर सेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस पेपर वन सो लेटेस्ट प्रोसीड चैप्टर थ्री सी प्लस प्लस सेशन सेवेन स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन कंस्ट्रक्टर डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर व्हाट इज द रूल्स टू राइट द कंस्ट्रक्शन फंक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड programs now in today's video i am explaining destructor constructor means to construct the values to construct the data whatever declare in class and destructor means opposite of constructor means constructor means construct the values destructor means destroys the values okay through object that is the main difference now see a constructor is a function that automatically executes when an object is destroyed destructor means destroy the data destroy the whatever declare in class okay a destructor is a function that automatically executes when an object is destroyed means same as default constructor when constructor is declared in class means default constructor already we have seen this default constructor in previous video so when object is created at that time automatically default constructor is initialized same like a destructor is a function that automatically executes when an object is destroyed it is used to destroy the object that have been created by a constructor this is very important word this is very important word what is created by a constructor okay it is used to destroy the object that have been created by a constructor student one thing is always remember when destructor is declare in class at that time in that class constructor is present that is compulsory but suppose you want to declare constructor but not necessary destructor is present in that class okay may now see third point the primary usage of the destructor function is to release space means destroy the object destroy the data then automatically in memory that where in memory wherever stored that variable or data in memory space that memory space when destructor is used that memory space automatically released means free okay a destructor is invoked implicitly by the compiler upon exit from the program to clean up storage that is no longer accessible see destructor is invoked means executed implicitly by the compiler upon exit from the program means when program end is executed at that time destructor function automatically call implicitly and that is clean up the storage that is no longer accessible okay means destructor invoke only within that begin and end in other words a destructor function gets executed whenever an instance of the class to which is belongs goes out of existence understood student what is the meaning of this fourth point in other words a destructor function gets executed whenever an instance of the class to which it belongs goes out of existence means it is a good practice to declare destructor in a program since it releases memory space for future use okay means it is not compulsory to declare destructor but it is good practice why it is good practice because what is the function of destructor destructor is 
release space free space means whenever destructor is declared then at that time releases memory space and that space we can use for future use okay this is a advantage for destructor now see syntax rule for writing up destructor function syntax rule for writing a destructor function now first rule a destructor function name is same as that of class name this rule is also belongs in constructor in constructor first rule is a constructor function name is same as that of its class name same here but what is the difference but it is preceded by tilde sign see this tilde sign okay this sign already on keyboard for function keys this is called as tilde sign so it is just right before that destructor it is preceded by tilde sign now second one is it is declared with no return data type since it can never return any value same as that of constructor in constructor also no return data type you want don't write any void okay so same here it is declared with no return data type since it can never return any value and last one it takes no arguments here just write down destructor here no return data type no any return value no any arguments and last one is it should have public access in the class declaration means always remember like constructor destructor always declare under public section okay if it declares private then it can't access to other so destructor or constructor always declare in public section understood what do you mean by constructor or definition of cons sorry destructor and syntax rules for destructor okay now see general syntax of the destructors general syntax means format what is the format how to declare destructor in class c here first declare class you know what is the syntax for class 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 name then begin under public section public is a access specifier in that public class name is declared see under this class name tilde sign class name what is the difference between them here class name this class name is a constructor declare and this class name is a destructor declare what is the difference see here this is a tilde sign and here no tilde sign so you, this is constructor or this is destructor this is a syntax or end of this class semicolon this is a syntax of to declare destructor function in a class now see example how to write constructor or destructor in program c++ program just see one example suppose create one class give class name some any class name so i can write here as uh, class abc okay abc is a class name then write public why here public because always constructor and destructor declare under public section so write here public colon then abc okay abc open and close the bracket then see here this is comments what is this c here abc this is also abc what is this this is class name or but this is a function means class name is same as function name so it is called as constructor okay so under this begin just print some statement see how this is constructor okay end of this function this is a constructor end now one more function is declared that is destructor see here tilde sign abc this is a destructor declare understood student difference between this constructor and difference between these destructor see here just here write abc no return data type okay no here any argument so it is a default constructor see here tilde sign here class name 
no return data type no argument so it is a destructor now in this destructor just print one statement this is a destructor okay end of this destructor function end of this class function now how to invoke this constructor or destructor i think you know how to okay just uh, listen how to invoke default constructor parameterize constructor because already we have seen in previous video okay now here in this program we used default constructor or one destructor so when object is created at that time automatically default constructor is initialized so create object so first write void main under void main create object object name what is the syntax class name and object name okay so class name is abc object name right here obj semicolon then end okay when student see here when ab obj is created at that time automatically this default constructor is invoked okay now what about this destructor when this end release okay when pointer come out this end at that time destructor automatically or implicitly invoke understood not necessary always remember the destructor can't invoke automatically implicitly destructor is invoked okay destructor is invoked implicitly by the compiler upon exit from the program see here when pointer come out this in at that time automatically this constructor implicitly invoke always remember so don't write here obj dot abc like this okay that is totally wrong now what is the output see first statement this is constructor print this this is a constructor and second one is this is a destructor okay here student uh, in destructor function see how this is a destructor here some statement is right so here as it is statement is printed okay this is a destructor understood this program now see one more example see write a program in c++ calculate fibonacci series of n numbers using constructor see now i think you know what is a fibonacci series okay just see again fibonacci series suppose this is a fibonacci series 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 20 30 40, whatever next okay dot 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 now see this series this is called as fibonacci series means addition of previous two number 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 8 plus 13 is 21 13 plus 21 is 34 like this okay what you want want how many means in which series fibonacci series will be printed so just write given numbers okay suppose you want to display fibonacci series up to 21 or 13 then check out less than is equal to 13 okay but understood this what do you mean by fibonacci series fibonacci series means addition of previous two numbers now see what is the logic how to write this program already this program we have seen in last year okay just revise once again but this program write using oops concept oops concept means you can use uh class declare class then create object then you invoke member function first create member function okay declare definition or constructor here write uh, here specific specify number using constructor means in this program declare a constructor now see 
given input number is 6 suppose i want to display fibonacci series up to 6 okay so input suppose some variable is used n so n stored input is 6 now student first two numbers store as it is in two variables 0 and 1 so two variables are used suppose f0 stored 0 and f1 stored 1 okay now f0 plus f1 0 plus 1 1 so next number will be printed means this addition stored another third variable suppose take f3 f3 is equal to f0 plus f1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 okay so third number at will be calculator or calculated or printed okay like this you can print next series then how to write c first check condition okay suppose n is equal to 6 so i less than is equal to 6 means start from 1 2 3 4 if condition is false then automatically control out of loop but if condition is true then which statement will be executed now see f0 is equal to f1 f1 is equal to f3 and f3 is equal to f0 plus f1 see here now what is the value of f1 1 what is the value of f1 f3 here 1 okay in previous 0 1 as it is print then next 0 plus 1 is 1 so here 0 plus 1 1 now next these two numbers means 1 and 1 this one store f0 and one store f1 okay then how to write how to store it so f0 is equal to f1 means assign the value whatever stored in f1 and f1 is equal to f3 after calculating or addition that f3 assign the value to f1 okay and then again same f3 is equal to f0 plus 1 now see a yes, student now in f1 1 f3 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 f3 becomes 2 now next number will be print same these three statement these three statement executed till if this condition is true if condition is false at that time control goes out of loop and print or stop not print in this loop directly print because individual number we want to print okay so print f3 after this statement okay after n end of this main understood how to write this program now using oops concept or using constructor now see in detail how to write program same program okay now see first include file iostream and conio.h then declare fibonacci class okay here give class name fibonacci okay class is a keyword class name is a fibonacci then begin then in public section because constructor always declare under public section okay so here first declare variables int f0 f1 fib okay we um, in this program need three variables then fibonacci void what is this constructor why it is called as constructor because class name and constructor name both are same so this is constructor why this is this is called called as destructor because in destructor preceded by tilde sign so here is not given tilde sign so this is a constructor okay now next one member function is declared for calculating the fibonacci series so give function name is cal okay you can give any function name no return data type so void then function name can in bracket void no any argument so write void okay semicolon this is a member function one one more member function we have to declare for displaying fibonacci series you can write this statement also in cal function but 
just I write separate two functions. Okay. So you can understand also how to write or how to create member functions more than one in class or how to construct them. So here uh, use two function or use declare two member function. So display one more function. This two function is called as member function. Why it is called as member function? Because this member function declare under this class. So this is a member of this class. So it is called as member function. This is understood. Okay. Now in void display void this member function right inside the class. Already we have seen inside or outside. One member function write inside the class and two functions write outside the class. You can write any way whatever easy you want easy to write that program. Okay. In board program not uh, given specification write inside or outside. Okay. So you can write any inside or outside but here in this program use two functions outside and one is inside so write void display this function right inside the mem class okay so directly here begin see out because in this display function just display fibonacci numbers okay fibonacci number stored in fib variable okay why fib variable because addition of these two variables stored in fib so see out fib okay then slash t why why here write slash t because distance between two numbers display distance between two numbers so right here slash t t means step end of this function this end is this display function and end of this class class means here semicolon okay so end of this class now write first fibonacci constructor then write member function one more member function here cal okay now how what is the syntax to write member function outside the class return data type class name scope resolution operator function name in bracket argument list okay so student See. Fibonacci scope resolution operator Fibonacci student don't write here return data type because this is a constructor always remember constructor in constructor no return any data type you want void so here don't write void also don't write any return data type so directly write function class name what is class name Fibonacci and scope resolution operator then Fibonacci in bracket void no argument. So in this constructor initialize first two values okay F0 is equal to 1 and F1 is equal to 1 sorry student here instead of 1 write here 0 because starting two value is 0 and 1 okay sorry right here f0 is equal to 0 f1 is equal to 1 initialize two values okay now third is one more function right void cal now see return data type no return data type see here void so write as it is void class name fibonacci write class name scope resolution operator function name what is function name cal in bracket no arguments no any variable so write void okay this is the syntax return data type class name scope resolution operator function member function name and argument list now see in that function begin fib is equal to f0 plus f1 okay f0 is equal to f1 f1 is equal to fib okay this three statement executed means automatically initialize one value to another another value to third one like this okay and print addition of this store addition in fib variable so print here 
fib okay now see void main in void main first declare object okay object how to declare object what is the syntax to declare object class name and object name so class name is fibonacci object name declare here f okay this is a object now i want to display first enter number which series which fibonacci series want to display okay so see out enter number of elements c in n okay whatever number is given for input that number stored in n variable so here declare n now till this number is stored in this n if first take the condition using for loop means one to suppose in enter the element suppose uh, enter any number suppose 5 okay so 5 stored in n variable okay then check the condition start to end means first take 1 then 2 then 3 3 4 5 okay if this condition is true then this functions means fibonacci functions and display functions that n times calling n times okay can't call these fibonacci means constructor because when object is created at that time automatically this fibonacci constructor is invoked okay now see begin f dot cal first cal function will be called okay and then call display function object name dot function name object name dot function name these two functions repeat n times means invoke or calling n times if this condition is false then pointer come out the main program and print all see here print all numbers understood student student one more thing is right here in fibonacci or constructor right here one more statement see out f0 and f1 because starting two values also printed so here directly 1 2 3 okay in this uh, display function but first two 0 and 1 also printed so right here uh, and right right here also see out f0 and f1 okay right after this or before fibonacci f it is also correct or right here also in fibonacci constructor no problem understood this program student many times this program asks in board question for five marks okay see here when this program is compiled or when program is run at that time when object is created this constructor will be executed okay and when for f dot call function cal function is invoked at that time pointer goes to cal function after end this if end is executed again come out main program then f dot display then pointer goes to display function if end is released then again come out here check the condition first if condition is true again call cal function and display function okay until condition is true if condition is false then stop the execution understood student now this is assignment to complete this assignment what is class explain general form of class declaration student in this first question write small example okay here also if here not necessary then in third one example is given and this is a program okay so thank you student